this is not how relaxing my morning was. Today the holiday starts with a little bit of a screw up. I was supposed to fly to Hong Kong, but I missed my first flight in 240 flights. First time in my life. How could this happen? I started in Shanghai and I had to make my way to El Nido in the Philippines. First I would go to Hong Kong where I would pick up Rachel. We would travel together on a flight to Manila and another flight to Puerto Princesa where we would take a bus to El Nido. That sounded like a good plan, right? Unfortunately, it didn't go that way. So instead of flying to Hong Kong airport, I flew to Shenzhen airport where I would take a bus to the border where I would get out of China, get into Hong Kong, continue on another bus to Hong Kong Island, where I will meet Rachel. Also, Shanghai has two airports. First, Pudong Airport, which mostly handles international traffic, and the one where I was at the moment, and Hongqiao Airport, which handles mostly domestic flights, which is the one where I, my flight would take off. So I will bring you along on the journey in one minute. I only need one minute. I will put a timer here in the right corner and in the left corner another one of the time it actually took to get me in Hong Kong. At 7.30 a.m. I got into a cab. Going down the escalator, I slipped and hurt myself quite badly. I took the subway for a few stops to the airport express for about 10 minutes and arrived at the airport where I had to walk through a lot of people to get to the check-in desk where they told me I was 5 minutes late. There were no cheaply priced flights to Hong Kong later that day, so my girlfriend had the idea to fly to Shenzhen instead. I had to switch airports. I took the airport bus and upon arrival my flight was delayed. I had to wait about 2 hours at the gate before boarding. Once in the plane, there was another one hour delay because of traffic. Once airborne, there was a beautiful sunset. Good thing. The airport in Shenzhen has a great design, but terrible execution. I got on the express bus, got to the border of China, got out, got into Hong Kong and continued the journey. Everything went smoothly after that. It's 9.30, I finally made it on the street in Hong Kong, only two and a half hours later than I was hoping for. 